Today we're checking out some of the new ambient events in LSPDFR. It all starts right now. Hey, what's up? I'm Anton. Thank you very much for watching this video. So, Super Pyromaniac, the creator of Super Callouts Pack, He's actually put out a new plugin called Super Events. And basically what it does is it adds a whole bunch of these ambient events uh, into LSPDFR. And these are events that take place randomly on the streets as you're driving by. They're not calls, but it's things that you're supposed to see and respond to. And before we actually check them out, I do want to show you the car here. We're using a CBPI. Look at this thing. I love the lights on it. I used it for my police academy, my police training academy video. And I, I don't know what happened to my headlight there. The headlight already got hit somehow. Uh, but I love this car. This car is great. So why don't we go ahead and respond to one of these ambient events? Because as you can see right here on my mini map, we have a little blip and that indicates an ambient event is right next to us. You can actually turn this off in the I and I settings for this episode. I decided to turn them on and I increased the spawn timer, but you can actually go into the settings file and change that. If you don't want to see them, them on the mini map and you rather just look for them in the real world, um, you can do that and you can increase the amount of time it takes for them to spawn. So let me go ahead and take a look here. It will tell us what the call is. And it looks like it's somebody's actually one of these people right here walking about, perhaps. Uh, open carry, investigate the person. So it looks like we spotted somebody walking around with a gun or, or holding a gun or something like that. I probably missed it because uh, I was busy talking about the car by the time the event already spawned. But I think it's this gentleman right here. I'm going to go ahead and get my gun out, sir. Los Angeles Police Department, oh, stop right there. Put your hands up. Hands up, sir. Just get on the ground. Looks like he dropped something or he pretended to drop something. I don't know what's going on there, but let me go ahead here and place him into custody. But essentially, uh, part of this ambient event is you see somebody on the street walking around with a rifle. What do you do, right? You have to at least talk to them and find out what it is that they're doing out here. So that is what we're doing today. I'm going to go ahead and just bring him over to my car. Uh, now, I didn't actually see a rifle, and I don't know if maybe he threw that out already, or he's got it on his person. Let me just pat him down and see if we do have anything on him that is uh, a weapon, or a rifle, or anything like that, or a gun. Uh, and that is going to come back here. A baggie of crystals, we found that at least. Highlighters and a pocket camera. Um, Alright, so we didn't see a gun, uh, but uh, that is the ambient event. Um, I guess you can question him here now. You're just basically using Stop the Pet plugin, or at least I'm using Stop the Pet plugin to, you know, ask him, for example, Sir, what are you doing out here with a weapon? Whoa, something else just blew up. Searching for a purpose, he says. All right, sir, well, I'm going to let you go because something just blew up, and I think that might be another ambient event. I see one spawn right there on our minimap. Let's go check it out. And I think that was the explosion that we heard. So we just saw the open carry one, and now let's go ahead here and respond to this one without hopefully damaging the car. And let's see what we're dealing with. They're just right on the uh, other street here. Whoa! People running right into my vehicle. Let's take a look, see what we got. Yep, there it is. It's another ambient event. Uh, this one is a car fire. We're gonna clear the scene here. We just showed up. Dispatch 3, Adam 10, requesting uh, fire department fire on truck. Little okay, Bighorn Avenue, uh, right uh, underneath San Andreas. We got a big car fire. Huge car fire, actually. We might have to request additional units here to assist. Uh, but you guys heard the explosion. That is the ambient event. A vehicle has caught on fire and at this point exploded, causing fire to spread all over and to other vehicles. Um, fire department attempting to get to the scene here, but they seem to be stuck. Uh, yeah, dispatch, we're gonna need... Um, oh boy. <laughs> dispatch, we're gonna need additional units. Get all the firefighters out here. What are you guys doing? Get out of the fire truck. Stop honking and do something. We've got fire all over the place. All right, here they go. Oh my god, this is going to result in a lot more explosions. I'm going to go ahead and move my car back. You can see multiple vehicles on fire now. Whoa, there she is. And the firefighters are right in the middle of it. Oh boy. And then another one is going to blow up here in a second. But the firefighters are trying their best to put the fire out. Lots more smoke. We've got people running around everywhere. There goes another one. Yep, there goes another and another one. I think there could be the fire trucks blowing up at this point. There's just... Alright, uh, yeah, dispatch, we're gonna need additional units out here. This is just turning into a very serious situation on Little Bighorn Avenue. Whoa! We just had a massive explosion requesting more units there, dispatch. Okay, they're sending more trucks. But this is just getting out of control. And you can see how a little tiny ambient event of just a car being on fire has now caused a major serious 
situation here on Little Bighorn Avenue with multiple explosions and basically the street uh, being shut down. As a matter of fact, the street is shut down. Uh, there comes the, another fire truck spawning right in front of us here. Oh no, they're just gonna get out. They're gonna keep their distance. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close the street here. Use some police tape. So now you start using all of your tools to manage the situation. In this case, we're, uh, we're gonna do that with police tape. I'm just gonna close the, all of this up like so. Alright, let's get this all shut down like that. There we go. That's a little bit better. Woo! Oh man, okay, I think the firefighters have the situation under control over there. We got a lot of firefighters that responded on seeing multiple trucks still arriving uh, here. It looks like they're still trying to actually uh, combat the fire. Fuel fire, I'm guessing, with all the explosions and fuel going everywhere. Uh, we're doing our best here to keep vehicles and pedestrians out of their way because if the vehicles keep going that way, we're just going to have more chain explosions. But the firefighters doing a great job putting out all of these fires. You can see them all over the place. Um, and I think, I think we have the situation under control now. Yep, I think so. Oh my god, there's a lot of firefighters here at this garbage can. There's, wow. All right, and now they're springing into action and going uh, into uh, their first responder mode here to try to perform CPR on some of our victims. So we'll let them uh, do that. Uh, we'll manage the rest of the scene and then we're gonna head out and look for some more ambient events that we can find and check out. Lots of people deceased on that one. You can see the reports are coming in. We got four, three, so about seven people deceased. And I think a brand new ambient event has spawned right ahead of us and it's this bus as the matter of fact. Yeah, and this is the reckless driver one if I'm not mistaken. You can see the bus is reversing <laughs> down the road. So this is another ambient event that contains a number of different vehicles. In this case, we got a bus that uh, you can see over there coming up. Oh, there it is. Stop the vehicle. <laughs> reckless driving. All right, let's see if we can stop the bus. Dispatch three out of ten. We got a reckless bus driver. He just hit somebody. And you can see he's just basically attempting to reverse down the road. And he just drives recklessly um, and hit vehicle, hit pedestrians. That's what basically the reckless driver ambient call or ambient event does. I don't know if we're going to be able to just... No, nope, you can't stop him by going behind him, that's for sure. Or in, fr in front of him, I guess. It just hits your car. Yeah, dispatch uh, three out of ten. Uh, we're going to need some backup units here. I don't I don't know if I can... It's going to be an interesting one because he can't... Okay, there you go. I just blipped him. So now we're in a pursuit officially. So by blipping him puts him right into the pursuit mode. So now we are going to be 1080 here. Uh, westbound Vespucci Boulevard in pursuit of a bus. Uh, he's now at least going the right way. Uh, on the right side of the road, heading straight forward, not backwards like he was earlier, but he's still being extremely reckless. He just hit multiple vehicles here. Dispatch, uh, 3 out of 10, um, requesting, uh, requesting news teams uh, to help out here with our pursuit. We're just turning on Center Street. Uh, no, disregard that. We're going to be making a turn. And no, we're not. It just crashed my, uh, it just crashed my LSPD FAR plugin. Looks like all of my all of my backup just crashed uh, LSPDFR, so now it's completely up to me. I have to do this on my own. Not sure what's going on there. Probably something to do with the backup units. But okay, all right, all right. Let's see what I can do here. So LSPDFR has crashed. We can no longer request backup units. Let's see if I can just shoot this guy. You know what? I might be able to just do that. Right in, right in the head. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa! Shots fired! Shots fired! Got more more shots being fired at me here as I as I shoot everywhere except him. Oh my god. He did not like me shooting that bus driver. Oh well. Well, LSB your fire crash had nothing to do with the ambient call, but we're gonna be uh, code four on this one, I guess. So we've seen a couple of ambient events and let's check out another one. We have one spawning right next to us over here and I believe it's a mugging. You can see somebody there being held up with a gun. I'm gonna go ahead and pull right into here and see if we can uh, take care of the situation. Let me get my gun out. Yeah, we got somebody being held up with a weapon. Ma'am, drop your, drop your gun. Okay, she's gonna take off on us. We're gonna be in a foot pursuit here northbound on a low power street. I'm gonna see if I can just maybe tase her. She's running with a weapon. There we go, got her, oh my god, she fired the gun. She just fired the gun. Ma'am, drop the weapon, drop the gun, drop the gun. Yeah, drop the gun there, ma'am. I'm switching to my weapon now. Let's see here if she's gonna be able to give up. Yep, she's giving up. And ma'am, let go of the gun. Drop the gun on the ground, ma'am. Get on the ground. She's not letting go of that weapon. I'm gonna go ahead and move in for the arrest here and hopefully we'll be able to get the gun from her. 
And yeah, I think I got the gun. Nope, she's holding on to it still. Give me the gun, lady. Give me that gun. There we go. Finally got the gun there from her. Oh my goodness. Uh, Ma'am, you are under arrest for uh, for holding up that uh, that gentleman and then running from police on top of that. Uh, her pupils are dilated. Possibly drugs are involved. So that's another variation here of uh, the ambient event, the mugging event. And sometimes they run, sometimes they shoot at you. Um, you just never know what's going to uh, to happen. We have another one that spawned right in front of us. Let's go check this one out since we're here. We'll deal with her in a second. Um, this is another one uh, here that uh, appears in the middle of the road. You can see these people are just standing there with their hands up. And then they ru and they, they yell, run us over! We don't want to live in this world anymore! And this is the people in the road call. We just have to investigate them. Who knows what's going on? Looks like they're just suicidal. Uh, maybe a part of some cult or whatnot, but they're just like out here. It looks like they're giving up, but maybe that's, I don't know, maybe it's some sort of a cult sign. They basically are saying, look, we don't want to live anymore, so these vehicles can run us over. It's more of a, more of a disturbance, I guess, right? So you show up and you're like, hey guys, what's oh. going on here today? Talk to me, man. What's happening, huh? What are, what are you doing here? Well, how come you're in the middle of the road? I have the right to shut the hell up. All right, well, let's get you guys off the road. Come over here with me. All right, let's 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 put you guys off the road so we can get traffic moving here. Watch out, guys. Coming through. All right, let's get him right over here. Now, you don't necessarily need to arrest these people when you're doing this ambient event. They could just be suicidal. And maybe they just need some help. Maybe they got to go to the hospital. Maybe they need to talk to somebody. But we can obviously process them accordingly and run all of their information and all of that stuff. All right, let me just deal with this lady. I'm going to get her picked up. Uh, dispatch. Oh, sorry, lady. Just knocked her right over. Dispatch, can we get a 1091 here to my location on Power Street and Low Power Street? I'm gonna give her a quick drug swap test because I think narcotics could be a factor here. So let's find out here if she's under the influence of uh, any sort of drugs. And that is going to come back. Thank you. I, I said, whoa, she is under a lot of drugs. Po a positive for marijuana, cocaine, and methamphetamine. So there we go. This lady is really, really high. We do have the... Uh, we do have the prisoner transport responding to us. I'm going to go ahead and in the meantime just put her into the back of my cruiser so she doesn't take off. Uh, went a little too far there. Put her into the vehicle rear seat, please. Like so. And then the two gentlemen over there. Let's run their IDs. Looks like the uh, prisoner transport is just right here. Yep, there they are. I'm going to pull up on the sidewalk. Uh, let's run their IDs. Let's see if there's any outstanding warrants or anything like that for their arrest. Uh, sir, do you have a piece of ID there on you? Let's see here if he's got one. There we go. And you got one for your friend? Uh, dispatch, can we get a, uh, 1027? Actually, need a couple of 1027s. Fred Schnitzler. Fred Schnitzler is going to come back with no outstanding warrants. Uh, and then another 1027 dispatch for a, uh, Anthony Long. Anthony Long is gonna show us no outstanding warrants as well. Okay, guys, well, you take it easy, alright? Listen, don't go on the road, don't kill yourself, talk to somebody, okay? I hope they get some help. I hope they get the help that they're looking for. Uh, the suspect has been picked up, so we're going to be code for on this ambient event. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. There's a few more different events in here. Uh, we saw, we saw, I think, some of the good ones. Uh, there's still, oh god, what is, uh, what is there still? We saw the mugging one. I think there's still like one with uh, officer being, um, uh, being shot at or taking shots, firing at, uh, firing uh, at a suspect. I think there's another ambient call out around. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, a fight. I think there's one with a fight as well. And I'm sure Super Fire Maniac is going to be adding even more uh, into the game. So I'm looking forward to see what other ambient events he can come up with. This is exciting. And that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Check out some more videos here on the channel as well. Don't forget to tune into my live streams and I will see you on the next one. Bye.